Hey guys, so today's video is a hair tutorial on this hair right here. I never do hair tutorials. I think I've done like maybe four or less on my channel since I started my channel. I'm just not very good at the whole hair thing. But I have been doing this hairstyle a lot recently and I decided to share it with you guys. It's a very thick and voluminous, messy fishtail braid. It is kind of complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy. I actually learned how to do a fishtail braid watching YouTube videos. So it's possible and I'm actually probably the world's worst fishtail braid explainer so if you don't get it with my tutorial you can just search for more tutorials um, on how to do a fishtail braid and they would probably explain it better. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys because I think this hairstyle is super summery and appropriate for this time of year and it's just so beautiful. I love it. I am wearing extensions in this tutorial because I like my braid to be extra thick. But you can use your regular hair, you don't have to use extensions and you'll get the same result only it'll just be a little bit thinner. But you can fan it out and make it thick anyway. And I also wanted to talk about the extensions I'm wearing. I'm wearing SKR extensions. I only have two clips in so I'm not wearing like a full head of extensions or anything. But a couple of you you guys have asked me what I think about these extensions so I wanted to give you like a mini review of these extensions as well as this tutorial so I hope you guys don't mind I wanted to kill two birds with one stone and I'm sorry I'm so dark it has been raining in Florida like like the world is ending it is raining a lot but rain or shine won't stop me from posting videos no sorry Bob they won't Okay, so I'm gonna stop blabbing now by the way I did film a tutorial on this look right before I filmed this hair tutorial just in case you guys wanted to see a tutorial on this so I filmed it before I'm like let me film this just in case they want to see a tutorial on it so if you do want to see a tutorial on this look then just comment down below and I will post it for you guys so yeah enough with the blabbing if you guys want to see how to get this really thick and beautiful fishtail braid then just keep watching okay so these are what the extensions look like there is a shadow right here as always ignore that but these are what the extensions look like I believe these are medium mixed blonde or dark mixed blonde I'm not exactly sure I will put in the description box exactly what color these are but I love these especially because they have highlights throughout them so it's two different tones it has like this auburny brown and then the blonde highlights which doesn't look like it would match but it does match my hair it just looks like I have blonde highlights throughout the bottom of my hair which I love and they mix in beautifully because if you see right here they look kind of fake looking as in the stripes it's like brown blonde brown blonde I was a little worried about that I was like oh my god that's gonna look kind of like stripey and weird but it doesn't it blends in your hair really really nicely like they look so natural so as you can see it comes with a lot of hair well I don't know if you can tell but it's pretty thick it's actually very thick like my hair feels 10 times thinner than this when it's in a ponytail so it's very thick good quality and I believe I have the 20 inch 185 grams so it is the longest ones that SKR carries and my hair is pretty long to begin with this is just a little bit longer but I really honestly wanted extensions for volume because my hair is really really flat when it's straight as you can see it just like lays flat on my head there's no volume and I've tried <laughs> everything so I really wanted extensions just to give myself that extra vol vol voom to my hair especially when I do braids like today and certain hairstyles that I just want my hair to look thicker and more voluminous so yeah, just to give you a quick little review before I go on to the actual tutorial, um, like I said, these are SKR extensions, and I've had them for about two weeks now, and I haven't washed them. I don't plan on washing them for a while. You shouldn't wash your extensions all that much, but I've ironed them. I haven't curled them yet, but I've ironed them, and they feel so amazing. They feel healthier than my hair. Well, my hair is pretty damaged, but they feel so healthy and thick and pretty and I don't get shedding at all I actually first heard of SKR through my friend Gabby she's had her extensions for about a year now and she swears by them she says they're her holy grail extensions so I'm glad I got the opportunity to get these and honestly so far so good I will keep you updated on these extensions I know I've only had them for two weeks so I mean but <laughs> so far so good so even though it comes with a bunch of different wefts, I only use two of them. At least for this specific hairstyle I do, just because I want my braid to just be a little bit more full and thick. So I don't feel the need to put in all the hair extensions. And honestly, wearing 
all of the clips in my head gives me a headache and I don't understand how anyone can wear like a full head of extensions. It like drives me nuts. I use this one right here that has the two clips. It's like a medium sized one. This one goes on the bottom, towards the bottom of my head. And then I use this one, which is the biggest one it comes with, that it comes with three clips. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clip in my extensions really quickly. By the way, these are super easy to clip in. You just place them and clip them in. They're really, really easy. And then the larger one, I just clip it kind of like in the middle of my head on top of my ear. And then I just make sure that nothing is peeking through. And then I instantly have more volume. <laughs> so as you can see, this color blends really good with my hair. It just looks like I have some blonde highlights peeking through at the bottom, which I really, really like. So you can see it's pretty much the same length of my hair, only I have layers. So it kind of like blends in all together. I love these. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab all my hair towards this side of my head. If you want to do your braid on this side, you obviously do it on this side. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and grab everything over here and secure it with a tiny little black elastic. And tying it as close to my head as possible. Okay, so we have that part finished. Then I'm going to take some bobby pins. These are like the, for the blonde ones. They match better with my hair than the black ones. And I am just going to pin my hair in place. So yeah. I'm just going to pin it like this. Um, I'm a little bit self-conscious about my ears. They're very, very pointy. So I like my hair <laughs> to cover my ears. But if you don't like that, then you do it however you like to do it. Okay, so now I'm just going to start doing the fishtail. To do it, you just want to part your hair in two even parts. It doesn't have to be perfectly even, but just you can feel it. And then all you want to do is start grabbing a little section of each section. I'll show you. I'm terrible at explaining, so I'll show you. I'm just going to take my finger and grab hair from this section. I'm gonna grab it from the back. I'm gonna grab little, little pieces of hair. The smaller the sections are that you grab, the better it's gonna look because then it's really gonna look like a fishtail. If you grab like fat sections, it'll look like a regular braid. So make sure that they're nice and small sections. Okay, so I'm just going to fast forward through this because if not it would be way too long. But basically I'm just grabbing little sections of hair from both sections. So I'm going to take my finger, cross it over, grab a little piece of hair. Take my other finger, cross it over, grab a little piece of hair. Um, it's really, really simple. It actually is, well, not easier than a regular braid, but it's just as easy as a regular braid. So once you get the hang of it, it's super, super easy. So like I said, just grab um, tiny sections. If you want it to be like different throughout the whole braid, grab smaller sections and then thicker sections or just do whatever makes you feel comfortable. 
I'm sorry if I really don't know how to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain now that I think about it. It's just easier to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible. But yeah, I'm just going to do that all the way towards the bottom and then secure it with a little elastic. Um, I'm not doing it to the very tips of my hair because I do have layers and I don't want the layers to just like go crazy all the way at the bottom. So I'm just going to leave a space before I tie it with the elastic. So this is what you should be left with when you're done. Again, it does not have to be perfect um, and super symmetrical because that is what I think makes it pretty, you know, like a nice messy braid. Plus we will be pulling some and making it a little bit thicker in just a second. So you can go ahead and cut the elastic and make it even more loose and more messy, but I'm just gonna keep mine in because I like to have it more secured in the back and not so loose, but you know, it's all about preference. So now I'm just gonna start pulling on the braid and making it a little bit more messy. Okay, so after you've got it as thick and messy as you want it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some hairspray so everything stays in place and I am using my favorite hairspray it is the healthy sexy hair soy to soy touchable no soy touchable weightless hairspray I love this because it doesn't leave my hair crispy I hate that so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray some on my hand oh and on my face and then that's it you're good to go your hairstyle will stay in place all day I love this look I think it looks elegant and casual at the same time like you could wear this with a beautiful dress and look super elegant or wear this to the movies and still look good. I love this hairstyle. I haven't been doing it like crazy recently. So I decided that I would give you guys a little tutorial on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this even though I'm not very good at the hair tutorials. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!